Hi everyone, I'm Kay of Kay's Creative Home. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be putting together this beautiful wreath for the spring and Easter season. Let's get started. So I'm starting with this beautiful lavender mesh. It is 21 inches and I have secured it to my wreath frame using a zip tie because I don't want the thickness of the mesh in, um, in one of those pipe cleaners twice. Um, so I'm gonna start on my inner row by taking um, 10 inches of gathered mesh and then inserting it into a zip tie, I mean not a zip tie, into a um, pipe cleaner and twisting it tight. Um, as I go along here I'm going to be smoothing it out or smoothing out the gathers so that it will fill in the uh, reframe. The reframe I'm using is a 14 inch reframe and I have placed these um, pipe cleaners on here myself. If you don't know how to space out your pipe cleaners and you would like to see me do an instructional video about that, please leave me a comment below and I will work on getting that done for you all. So I'm almost finished getting around here on the inner circle and then once I've done that I'm going to be working on the outer circle and again I'm going to just be doing 10 inches at a time Using um, a 10 yard roll of this mesh, I was able to make two, the foundation for two wreaths. Um, when I got to the second one, I realized what I would do is go um, 10 inches on some of the loops and then nine inches on some because these mesh rolls are never quite or exactly 10 yards. So I had to make up for that difference a little bit by going nine inches and in every make three or four of the loops I made. All right, so I'm gonna finish getting around this outer edge and I'll be right back. So now that I've made it to my last zip tie, I have secured the um, mesh to the frame again using a zip tie and cut off the excess mesh so I can use it for another roll. So now I have two rolls of this 10 inch mesh. It is the most beautiful pastel Easter colors, I think. And um, to do this one reef, you can use just one roll, but I'm using two because I plan to make two reefs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut all my mesh at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is roll it out and start making um, cuts at 10 inches. And then once I get all those cut, we'll move on to the next step. So I have this beautiful lavender base for my wreath. I've cut my ribbons at 12 inches and I have this basket here full of 10 inch mesh that I've cut at 10 inches. And so what I'm gonna be doing is just making two rolls, rolling the mesh and I'm gonna use two at a time. And then I'm gonna pick alternating ribbon, two ribbons at a time. And then I'm gonna be putting those together and inserting it into the zip tie. I'm sorry, into the pipe cleaners there. And I'm going to work my way around the wreath and put one at each pipe cleaner. And I'm going to be alternating the ribbons as I go around. So the first one has this floral ribbon and a pink ribbon. I thought this floral ribbon was just adorable. <laughs> I may make some wreaths using just that. I love that ribbon so much. And then um, with this second one, you'll see I'll do the same rolls. And then I'm going to use the checkered blue and white and the uh, like the small plaid ribbon that has those wonderful Easter colors again. So I'm inserting that into the next zip tie and I'm going to just keep going until I work my way around the outer edge of the reef and then onto the inner edge of the reef. Um, I wasn't thinking for me I usually start on the inner um, because I found that once I did the outer and I went back to the inner, I had difficulties with um, not mashing what was on the outside. So I had to kind of work at an odd angle to avoid m mashing the ribbon and uh, those rolls I had done on the outer edge. So you may want to start, you know, just depending on how you work, you may want to start at the inner edge or you could choose to start on the outer like I did. 
Now, if you enjoy these type of videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share it with others so that um, they also can learn about how to make uh, cute Easter eggs. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, don't forget to hit that button and ring the bell so that um, you will get those notifications. So I'm now on the inner edge and I am inserting a um, colorful floral ribbon and the pink ribbon first and trying to decide which ribbon I used where when I started this um, second layer was um, not difficult but what I decided to do was as you can see right below it especially as I turn this reef a little bit is the blue and white checked ribbon along with the plaid ribbon so I tried to just put two opposite ribbons there together and then as I work my way around the inner edge I'll just alternate again and this will kind of help keep the pattern flowing and now you can see I've got the outer and inner layers of this reef form filled in um, using my rolls and the alternating ribbon it is so pretty as it is I am not going to be adding a sign or a big huge bow but what I am going to do is make a bow and it will be a coordinating bow for the reef so that um, when I sell this it will be a package it will have the reef and the bow and the bow can be used the customer can either put it on the reef or they can use it on their light posts or lantern or you know mailbox however they choose to use it all right so let's make a bow so all of the ribbon I'm using here for my bow is the same ribbon that I've used in the reef it is all from Sam's Club as I said earlier and each of the ribbons here are really nice for making bows um, they all were nice quality they all held their shape very well um, I'm not having a lot of fraying from them. The blue and white checkered ribbon is probably the lightest in weight. And then this uh, plaid one that I just finished with, that's probably the next lightest. And even still, they, had a, they held their form pretty good. I have already started watching out for the spring ribbon to show up at Sam's Club. I look forward to seeing it. I can't wait to see what new styles they're going to have this year. And then I have some staples like this pink one. You see I'm at the very end of that roll. I really could use <laughs> some more of that. It's just like the perfect pink. Um, and it goes along with a lot of the things I, I have and use in my wreaths. I also like this floral. So I might even be getting a little bit more of that floral. Or looking to see if they have um, a different floral this year. Alright, so I'm going to finish making this bow by adding my pipe clean around the center. I've wrapped it around I've moved it over to where that indentation was at the very center on my easy bow maker and you just saw me twisting it quickly in the back to get it nice and tight and now I'm going to um, clip my dovetails on the ends of the tails and finish shaping this bow up and then I'll share some pictures of you with you of how things look at the end once again don't forget to like and share and hit that button if you want to be notified when I release new videos. I'm trying to do uh, a lot more than I've done in the past and hopefully you enjoy them all. Okay, I thank you for spending this time with me and I'll be talking with you again real soon.